ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help. Good evening. I'm calling to order this meeting of the Arlington Select Board on May 20th, 2024. I'm Select Board Chair Steve DeCourcy. Tonight's meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format consistent with provisions in state law for remote participation in public meetings. Before we begin, please note the following. This meeting is being conducted in the Select Board Chambers and over Zoom. It is being recorded and simultaneously broadcasted on ACMI. People wishing to join the meeting by Zoom may find information on how to do so on the town's website. People participating, either in person or by Zoom, are reminded that you may be visible to others and that if you wish to participate, we ask you to provide your full name and place of residence in the interest of developing a record of the meeting. Both Zoom participants and persons watching on ACMI can follow the posted agenda materials found on the town's website, specifically the select board agendas and minutes page. If technical difficulties sever the remote connection to one or more participants and efforts to reconnect within a reasonable period of time fail, the in-person meeting will continue at the discretion of the chair, provided that a quorum of the board is still physically present. Zoom participants are encouraged to retain the phone number provided in their confirmation email for a backup audio connection to the meeting. There will be the one opportunity tonight for public participation, and that is on the Montague Street Betterment public hearing at 715. We have a total of 15 items on the agenda tonight. We have a short period of time. Let's see how much of the town's business we can get done this evening. Uh, next, we move on to the consent agenda. I will read off the items. Uh, there are several. The minutes of the meetings of April 24th, 2024, May 1, 2024, and May 6th, 2024. Number three, a request for the annual Greek festival, June 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 2024, a four-day special one-day beer and wine license, and a one-way designation of Appleton Place from Mass Ave to Burton Street. Number four is the Arlington Soap, Soapbox Derby local race to take place on June 8th, 2024. Number five is the Summer Concert Series at Whittemore Park on July 10th, July 17th, July 24th, and July 31st. Number six is the Garage Band on Saturday, June 15th, 2024 from 6 to 8 p.m., 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Wyman Terrace. Number seven is a request for a contractor drain layer license for Fiona Bergen, Burgoyne, uh, quiche excavating. Number eight, our Rainbow Commission requests for crosswalk paintings, banners, and a proclamation. Number nine is a request for special one-day beer and wine license uh, to take place on June 1st, June 8th, June 15th, June 22nd, June 29th, every Saturday in July, the 6th, the 13th, the 20th, the 27th. August 3, August 10, August 17, August 24, August 31, September 7th, September 14th, September 21, and September 28th. That is at the Jason Russell House for a beer garden from the Arlington Historical Society. And number 10 is a request for a special one day beer and wine license on June 2nd, 2024 at the Whittemore Roberts House for a private event. I'll turn to board members for comments or motions. Move, this is mine. Move approval. Second. Just one, uh, if I may. Sure. Um, I, I look forward to the uh, Jason Russell House Beer Garden. Um, I believe it's a different uh, brewery distributor, but um, all the other, everything else, that all the players are the same, as well as their application um, regarding tips certified and you know wristbands and the like. Um, so I don't know if. Yeah, if, yeah. It, so, yeah, Ms. Mar uh, if you could clarify, for, I know there was an issue with part of this application, so if you could just clarify that for us. That's correct. They have updated their reference that's attached to the agenda for tonight. They are looking for a conditional approval tonight for just the month of June. They have switched their brewer to Medford Brewing Company, and they are looking for the board's approval tonight for every Saturday in June. Um, they're not sure if the Medford Brewing Company will be doing Saturdays in 
July and August. So uh, tonight it would just be June for the Medford Brewing Company. The tips have been attached and all the safety requirements are remaining the same. Okay, but and is there anything remaining that Medford Brewing Company needs to do? Nope. That, okay, they so we're all set. Okay, so we're a licensed wholesaler. Okay, great, thank you. So if you don't mind amending the motion, at least as Can to number nine. you just say the dates again now, what we're doing? Yeah, so the dates will be June 1, June 8, June 15th, June 22nd, and June 29 only. I'd like to amend that, thank you. Mr. Hurd, it's still a second, second on that. Okay, any other questions or comments from board members? Okay, so on a motion for favorable action on the consent agenda by Mrs. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Hurd, all in favor say aye. 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 It is a unanimous vote. Okay, next, we're a little early. I spoke to the individuals here from Montague Street. We have a public hearing at 7.15. It's not quite 7.15, so I'm going to skip <coughs> to the next item on the agenda, which is item number 12, for approval of common vitular license for Maria's Pizza, 86 Mass Ave. And I believe the applicant is joining us by Zoom this evening. I would just ask if they could raise their hand if they're under different Raise their hand if they're under different oh, yeah, if, if whoever is here tonight from Maria's Pizza, if you could raise your hand in Zoom so Ms. Marr can identify you. This is a transfer of a license, and I think maybe we table this and see if they come up. I, I think where it's new individuals, usually we like the individuals to come before the board. So let's keep that open. If they raise their hand, we'll come back to it. Perfect. Okay. Um, all right, moving right along. Uh, item number 13 for approval letter of support for Mass Ave and Appleton Street. John Alessi, our senior transportation planner, will be presenting. I will actually be turning the gavel over to Mrs. Mahan for this item, consistent with uh, my practice on Mass Ave in Appleton due to a, um, the fact that my sister-in-law has a business in that, in that area. I will be recusing myself. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> and I jokingly said this is sort of like overnight parking. It seems like on quite a few agendas, but this is a really important piece. And I do want to thank Mr. Alessi for your uh, patience at town meeting, but also your really informative um, presentation that actually allowed the vote to go through with um, the only sort of joint questions that I saw raised. The answers couldn't be provided, my understanding, that night at town meeting until we actually took that step. So I know how um, diligent you are that once, if we do vote this um, final, next final piece here, that um, in terms of the easements, temporary, permanent, and other, which are approximately 41 or 42, mm -hmm. whenever we can get that information out, we will. So um, should I start with you, Mr. Feeney, or Mr. Okay, Mr. Lessie? All right, well, um, thank you, select board members. My name is John Lessie. I'm the senior transportation planner in the Department of Planning and Community Development. And I'm, I'm before you this evening to give an update on the final design for the Mass Ave and Appleton Safety and Accessibility Project. Uh, next slide. So to give a summary of tonight's requested action to the board, it is to submit a support letter to the Executive Office of Economic Development alongside the town's Mass Works application for funding to construct the Mass Ave and Appleton Safety and Accessibility Project. Next slide. So I'd like to give some background on the project history um, that has brought us to the final design today. So um, as you know, the conceptual design was approved by this board in September 2023. And after that point, the town's consultant, Stantec, converted that conceptual design into a preliminary design that was completed between November and December of last year. So when that preliminary design was shared with the town, we released that um, in January 2024. We engaged with residents in the following ways. We released a news post in an online feedback form. We presented to TAC and ABAC, and we scheduled key stakeholder meetings in order to solicit input on the preliminary design. Next slide. So from using the feedback we received on the preliminary design, the town worked with our consultant, Stantec, to develop the final design. So we released that to the public last week on May 15th. 
And I'd like to note that we have, um, the, con the final design remains true to the conceptual design that was shared before this board in September of last year. Um, and you can see on the images below the comparison of the Mass Ave and Appleton Street intersection. On the left, the conceptual design kind of has, you know, the more colorized version, whereas the final design gets into the nitty gritty of the um, construction documents needed in order to build the project. So again, we have kept the final design true to the conceptual design that was approved. And I'd also like to note that the town is still conducting um, final meetings with key stakeholders through some um, continued engagement. We found that there are some issues that still need to be resolved. However, we are continuing these conversations and going to be making changes to the design before we submit our MassWorks application because we'd like to maintain the ability for um, property owners along the corridor to continue using their property in the way that um, it is today while, while implementing the key tenets of the project, which is to increase safety and improve accessibility for all modes of travel. Next slide. So as I mentioned, the town submitting uh, an application to the MassWorks Infrastructure Grant app, um, Program by June 5th, and we're requesting significant construction funding in order to you know, implement the project. Without that, we wouldn't be able to implement the project on our own using town funding. And if we were to receive a letter of support from the select board, that would help bolster evidence of community support for the project, in addition to making our application more competitive against other um, municipalities applying to this grant program. So with that in mind, um, before this meeting, I shared a draft letter of support to all members that can be considered signing on to um, for, this, um, for our application. Next slide. So the next steps for the town are to submit the MassWorks construction application by June 5th. Like I said, from now until then, we are still having meetings with key stakeholders to finalize some small aspects to the design. So we'll continue to do that, submit the application by June 5th. We would then wait for decisions to be announced in the fall, and if awarded, we would commence construction as early as spring 2025. Next slide. So again, the requested action of the board tonight is to submit a support letter to the Executive Office of Econo Economic Development alongside our MassWorks application for the Mass Ave Appleton project. So with that, I'd like to thank you for your time and I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Mr. Helmet. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I uh, appreciate the hard work that's gone into this long course of the, of the project. I appreciate the community engagement. I think the really good faith efforts to listen to everybody and to make compromises that the town was, was comfortable with without you know, compromising safety too much. And I know that we've had some robust discussions about that. Um, I'm delighted to be at this stage of the process. And I, I would like to move uh, favorable action, move, uh, move that the select board uh, do sign the letter of support as requested and as is before us. Uh, just a question for Mr. Alessi, if you could elaborate on what anticipated design changes you might uh, see coming over the next few days as you continue the engagement with the uh, butters. Thank you, Mr. Helmuth. So the key meeting, um, key stakeholder meetings we're having are with um, the proponent of the Hotel Lexington, with the developer for the Artemis housing development and for DeVito funeral homes. There are small aspects, including um, curb cuts and the, lo the exact location of street trees. And also in the case of the Artemis, the exact location, um, trying to make sure that their driveway on Mass Ave isn't blocked with the new traffic signal located there. So these are very you know, minor details that we're hoping to kind of resolve before June 5th. Yeah, thanks, but, that makes sense. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think the final thing I will say is, is just a recognition, as, you, as the letter says, uh, of, of the unfortunate impetus for this project, the death of Charlie Proctor, and we've had serious injuries there um, from other cyclists. We've had many close calls with pedestrians. You know, there's a real nexus of traffic safety here, and I think this you know, represents millions of dollars of funding that the town very much needs in order to really redo this intersection. And you know, it's something that we've certainly, this body's heard a lot about, the town hears a lot about traffic safety, and we, you know, we have to take it one major project at a time. So I'm really hopeful and optimistic that uh, this vote tonight will facilitate the submission of the MassWorks grant very soon, and we can get this rolling and, and frankly, move on to our next major project. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Helmuth. Mr. Hurd. 
Not gonna lose my mind on this. One. <laughs> um, I think my thoughts on this, well documented. I will vote in favor of the letter for the purpose of someone else paying for it. <laughs> and I think I said that before. Um, you know, I think sometimes when I hear the word compromise in relation to this project, I think there were some groups that compromised and some groups that absolutely were unwilling to compromise. But we are where we are. And, you know, I think this will hurt businesses. And, but, you know, I, I spoke up for the businesses. So the proponents and those that support it, you all will have to live with the consequences of businesses failing or worse in this area. So I will vote in favor of the letter, like I said, for the purpose of someone else else uh, paying for the, the work, and we'll see what happens. So is there a second? Oh, yeah, uh, well, a second? I'll second it. OK. Yeah, yeah. Is that OK? OK. Um, yeah. and, um, and on um, page 18, um, that curved table, table on curved C10, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, see, no, no, I concur with some, with Ms. Helmuth and, and Mr. Hurd. Mean, let's let's just hope that um, mean, uh, sometimes I have strong feelings about things, and and when I do mean and it doesn't go my way, I hope that it turns out not the way I thought it would. So it's, so let's hope that um, let's hope this works out. I mean, and, and I think as a community we can do things to um, to help support the businesses. So so I'll be all in favor of trying to do that. You know so. So yeah, I'm very much in favor of this, and, and let's hope we get the grant. Because it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's still an egg, right? You know, so we yeah. can't count the chicken yet. You know, so yeah, that's it, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Diggins. Um, and I also will be voting for this. Um, I just, uh, housekeeping administrative, uh, Attorney Cunningham. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, just given Mr. DeCourcy's recusal, I would suggest that this be prepared for the Vice Chair's uh, signature, uh, Mrs. Mahan. If that's okay with my colleagues. Yeah. That was my housekeeping. <clears throat> and um, just because I have the forum and, and your captive captured audience, I'll, I'll just reiterate again that um, squarely behind this project, but still implementing the fact that down in East Arlington, where we had an Arlington resident, Bill Dotson, 30, 40 years plus, and about 10 years before he was struck and killed in the crosswalk down by CVS in East Arlington when he went to many neighborhood meetings and came to the town. Um, and I was brand new on the board and said how many near misses he had and he feared that one day he'd be struck and killed in that crosswalk and he was. And then when we went through the Mass Ave redesign, um, putting down the lanes, um, it was told of, uh, construction projects, which predates Mr. Feeney, Attorney Cunningham, and Mr. Alessi, and I know I brought this up to you guys way too much, but I just want to keep that on the, on the radar. Mr. Alessi. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. I can actually speak to that. So a concurrent project that's happening right now is the town has partnered with the MBTA to extend the existing bus lanes in East Arlington, you know, from, I think it's Boulevard Road to the Parkway and then the Parkway up to the bus stop just before um, the CVS. And as part of that project, the MBTA is going to be paying for a rectangular wrapped flashing beacon at that exact crosswalk that you've mentioned, which I think should provide pretty good safety improvements at that location where that unfortunate death occurred. So we're, the town is active, actively um, implementing improvements to increase safety at that location. Mr. Feeney? At the T's expense. The T's expense. And, and thank you so much. And I am confident by the representations by this town government uh, officials appointed um, and others that uh, I really feel this, this isn't something we're going to talk about. It's actually going to happen. And, yeah. and I'm very appreciative of that. And thank you to my colleagues. So on a motion by uh, 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 oh, Mr. Diggins. Yes, yes. So, so extending on that a little bit, because if, since we have a little bit of time, and since I am wearing the bus rapid transit shirt you know, that we did for the pilot, because I remember when we were doing the pilot, I was very much in favor of not taking a parking lane. I actually wanted to take a lane of traffic in the pilot, you know, and maintain the parking because that would allow us to keep that bump out that we worked so hard to get in that area to make that that crossover um, safer. I mean, and we had to take out that bump out, you know, and and so 
So I mean, so this rectangular flashing beacon will help me that situation again. So so we're we're trying to mitigate for that and trying to you know have our our rapid bus lane mean and safer um, transit and 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 not take the parking. Although believe it or not, I really wanted to keep the parking because I wanted that pilot to compete with with car traffic and not compete with parking. I wanted people in cars to really see that the bus lane was really working for the people in the buses and go, I wish I was on a bus, as opposed to keeping the two lanes of traffic and now impacting the businesses with the parking there. But uh, I wasn't chair then, I mean, I'm sorry, I wasn't on the board then. In fact, uh, uh, Ms. Rowe, uh, when I came back and said, I really wish you had done it that way. She said, well, he, you get on this side of the table and advocate for that, you know. <laughs> and so, so thanks for her support. You know, I'm here and I'm still advocating for it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Diggins. Uh, on a, if we're all set on a motion by Mr. Helmuth, seconded by Mr. Diggins. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, unanimous 4-0 vote. And we'll do the housekeeping matter of taking Mr. DeCourcy's name off. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, sir. Yeah, they <laughs> well done, work so hard to get. No. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank, thank you, uh, Mrs. Mahan. Um, and I just want to make sure I, I said recusal when I left, not abstention, just to, for, for, for the record. So, okay, now we can return to the public hearing item 11, uh, Montague, Montague Street Betterment. It's a request for a repair to private way and a betterment order. Uh, Rose Rizzo, uh, Ms. Rizzo, uh, come on up. Good evening. So if you could just tell us a little bit about what the, um, the scope of the, the, the work is, and I, I believe you have provided us with the uh, about our approval document, and you have more than the, 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 the two-thirds, but if you could tell us a little bit about the project, there may be some questions from the board, and it is a public hearing as well. Sure. It came about as a result of the lower end of Montague Street being a disaster. The abutters there came to us. Our section of the road is in very poor repair. So we just took their lead. We, we went around to the few of us. We signed off. We have all of the signatures. We were provided, um, we were provided the names of approved vendors. I made the calls, got the quotes, um, and here we are. As a result of that, we're hoping to go with the same vendor that will be uh, repairing the lower end of Montague Street. Great. Thank you. So, um, turn now to the board for any questions. Okay. This is a public hearing. Um, so, if any members of the public wish to be heard uh, on this matter, um, I don't see anybody in the room here who wishes to be heard. Anybody over Zoom? Seeing no hands raised at this time. Okay. And and I know with the the level of our, of approvals, you you have met the threshold. So, I'll now turn to the board for motions or further comments. Uh, Mrs. Mahan? <clears throat> I'd like to um, move approval and, and thank Ms. Rizzo um, for all your work on this. I know any opportunity you can get to meet your neighbors, but to go and meet neighbors or say hello again and <laughs> go with your hand out <laughs> is kind of a difficult sell sometimes. So um, I do appreciate you doing that, and, and kudos to your um, uh, power of providing the information that we do have the list of abutters who have agreed to do this. So. Um, Thank you for doing that. Great, thank you. And a second, uh, Mr. Helmuth. I'll second that, and uh, I just also want to thank you for your leadership in the neighborhood, and take the opportunity to just ask a, a question about the process, and if you had any feedback for the town, uh, positive or negative, or for how the process went. I know that it's it's a complicated procedure, and we'd like to hear what. what your well, experience it was, was like. easy for us because the folks in the lower end of Montague Street had gone through this very long you know process so he guided us along uh, so now that this is going to go forward you know we'll be okay what's next like the vendor we hope to go with we don't even know yet like when do we when can we tell them it's okay so maybe having a little bit of clearer steps this is what you need to do I mean the first steps are pretty obvious you need to have the agreement and the calling of the vendors but then after that once we're approved here those steps aren't necessarily clear by reading things on the website. So we're just going to use our neighbors to guide us through. 
Thanks for that feedback. I know that that's something we're, we're looking at optimizing, so that's helpful. Thank you, Mr. Helmuth. Any further comments? Okay. On a motion for approval of the request to repair private way and the betterment order made by Mrs. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Helmuth. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, it's a unanimous vote. Thank you. Great, thank you all very much. All right, I'll return to item number 12. This is for approval for the common vitular license, Maria's Pizza, 86 Mass Ave, and I believe the applicant is on Zoom. Yep, they'll be promoted now. Okay, thank great, you, thank Chair. you. Good evening. You'll just have to unmute your mic to speak. Okay, there we are. Yeah. Good evening. If you could just introduce yourself. Good evening. Uh, introduce yourself and, and tell us a little bit about uh, what you're seeking here. I think this might be a transfer of a, of a license, but um, the, the full board's here and we're ready to, to act on the application. Hi, hello. Hi. Oh, go right ahead. Yes, uh, er everything is the same. Like Italian, we made Italian pizza and uh, we add Armenian food as well. And that's it. Okay. And, and just for, for the record, could you just identify yourself? To just give us your name. Yeah, uh, my name is Isak. Last name is Zakarian. Okay, thank you, Mr. Zakarian. I'm, yeah, I'm owner of Arturial LLC. So, and DBA name Maria's Pizza. So, uh, we, uh, I buy that pizzeria 15 days ago and I apply for new license. So, everything is the same, the old menu is the same, only we add Armenian food. All right, great. Okay, and I see that the package here, we have received the reports from the various departments in town and believe there are no issues with, with any, from any of the reports. So I'll now turn to uh, members of the board for any questions, comments, motions. Mrs. Mahan? Uh, move approval subject to all con conditions contained therein. And I do note that the um, health department and the proposed owner are still in the process of completing um, that particular application. So it's contingent upon that. But I anticipate that will happen. I expect that that will happen. In, you'll be able to move forward. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Great, thank you, Mrs. Mahan. Uh, any other members? Mr. Helmuth. Thank you, I happily second that, and I, I just wanted to confirm with, uh, with the owner that you said you'll be adding Armenian food to the menu? Yes. That's wonderful, I'm glad to hear that. I look forward to trying it. Thanks so much. Anybody else? Okay, so on a motion for approval by Mrs. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Helmuth, all in favor say aye. 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 It's a unanimous vote. Best of luck with the new business. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Sure. Okay, we have covered item 13. Item 14, I put this on the agenda. It was a, it's a request for a redevelopment board joint meeting. I just want to give the board a little bit of background on this. Uh, Ms. Marr had received a request from Ms. Rickard, our uh, Director of Planning and Community Development for a joint meeting with the Redevelopment Board. I have since followed up with the Chair of the Redevelopment Board, Ms. Embury, and the request has to do with three items they wanted to talk to us about, and what she described is that there are some items that fall between the two boards related to parking, uh, being one, another related to alcohol licensing, um, and some impediments that they're hearing about from potential businesses that want to come into town. And so as a result of that, they would like to have a joint meeting with us to discuss the parking issues that relate to their approvals and also our program, whether it's overnight parking or other things that we're doing. And then there is another issue related to parking that has to do with the potential rezoning of Arlington Heights that the AT, uh, the um, Redevelopment Board may undertake for next town meeting. The original request for a joint meeting was for the middle of June. Um, I have since learned that there is more flexibility on that, which I think is good because we need some more discussion on our parking policy. Um, and this could take place 
any time between now and September. Given the issues, we may want to do it in September, but I wanted to put it out to the board just for any feedback on the request and any preference as to timing and just bearing in mind it. If we do it, we should do it before the end of September, any time between now and then. Just felt like with town meeting, June wasn't the time to be, be jumping into something, but I'll turn it uh, over for discussion. Anybody wants to comment? Um, I'll start with Mr. Diggins on this mm -hmm. one. Then, Mr. Well, I'm delighted. I'm delighted about the prospect of this meeting because I was hoping to do one when I was chair, you know, and, and for whatever reason, it didn't work out, you know, uh, and, and so I'm really happy and I'm especially happy, you know, to discuss the um, parking issues because as uh, you know, we're, we're going to update uh, everyone on the overnight parking pilot, which we extended to the end of, of um, June, you know, and, and so, so um, based on that and some other um, things, me, I've been talking with the chair about the possibility of us looking at parking overall. And I talked to the town manager saying it would be good to have me some conversations, me um, with the redevelopment board, me about where the town wants to go on parking, you know, and, and, and not for us to make any decisions, but just try to get on the same page about even how to approach things. I mean, and so I think this meeting would be good for that. And maybe we'll have some preliminary discussions even before we have this meeting. So for me, I would say let's try to have the meeting in July, um, if possible, rather than waiting until September. But then I also know that we probably want to do I mean, our goals um, meeting. So we're going to, we may have a busy summer, you know, but, but that's okay. You know, so aim for July unless other people feel strongly otherwise. I'm going to wait. Uh, I'm going to wait. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mr. Helmuth? I mean, I think the summer's tough because people want, I mean, it's both the board and to put, get two boards that can all be there on the same date. I mean, I, I would shoot for September and then full, you have full participation. I know last time we did this, we did it over at the senior center because there was a pretty significant crowd there that couldn't even fit in the select board office. So there's a lot of people that, a lot of stakeholders that wanted to be heard because we didn't have, at that time, at least a few items that had public comment. I don't recall the exact setup of the meeting, but I think, you know, summer months are a little tougher to get everyone on the same page where everyone's kind of going different directions and it's also hot. So, I mean, my vote would be to, you know, schedule it for some time in September and, you know, get, get enough lead time to know what's going to be on the agenda and have us all caught up on what, what needs to be talked about. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hurd. Uh, Mr. Helmuth? Thank you. Um, fine with me. Uh, did the ARB indicate whether they anticipated uh, suggesting a public comment period? We didn't get that far. That far yeah, okay. uh, I'm agnostic about the date. I think, you know, whatever makes sense between weather timing and all that, I, I think it is good that we give enough time to, um, to solidify our own <coughs> views on the parking pilot and what we're going to do about, about that. Um, in June, but any time after that's fine with me. Thank you, Mr. Helmuth. Uh, Mrs. Mahan. Okay. Somewhat tongue-in-cheek. You may want to check to see if they still want to meet. Um, <laughs> one of the things I would, uh, I, before this meeting, I went down uh, to the redevelopment board meeting on my own. Um, uh, I would request that if they do still want to meet, that also the Arlington Master Plan AMP, AMP, also be an agenda item. Uh, and the reason I went down there was um, just solely for uh, uh, the process that they use to choose the AMP master plan members. Um, it was uh, dismayed to hear that Kristen Anderson was not appointed. I'm not asking anyone whose name was forwarded on not to be appointed. Um, um, I did ask them. And I said one of the other things I was just, I just want you to know in case anyone comes up, it had nothing to do with the select board. It was just me as an individual, and I made that very clear. But I also was extremely dismayed that it does say that there should be uh, a resident who also is a business owner. And um, to me, that means someone who has a storefront, and there's nobody on there that does that. And, and Ms. Anderson does have that. So I did ask the board, redevelopment board tonight, to take my remarks as a positive affirmation for Ms. Anderson, and perhaps they could table it and have a conversation. And if they don't, that's okay, because that's the, their decision to do. Um, but I did say maybe they could table it and have a conversation with 
town council and or deputy town council if they're bound to that 13 number because I'm not saying any of the 13 names that are going to be passed on should be taken off um, and so they said they would take that under consideration but I would like only because I don't know where we'll be in the process with the master plan but it, um, I would like that as an agenda item um, summer would be difficult for me uh, I guess if you were asking me I'd go closer to September and then um, in terms of uh, a public forum maybe wait till we get closer to the date and just see you know what the temperature is for our agenda items um, mm -hmm. go from there and then the only other thing I would ask I know I joke about my allergies to extra committee meetings but if we could have a specific start and end time um, uh, that would be appreciative thank you okay thank, thank you Mr. Mahan and, and for myself I, I think there are some issues here that members of the public would like to view or participate in and whether we have the public comment period or not September might feel like a better time just because if it's a July or August and people can't make it it, it, you, it we may be criticized for doing it over the summer rather as, as opposed to doing it in September so what I would propose we don't need a vote necessarily on this I think I have a good sense from the board that we're willing to do it when we talk about future meetings which will be in June I will by then have some proposed dates after talking with Ms. Embury to bring back to the board and we can we can discuss it at that time. And you'll add the master plan and the agenda. Yeah, no, and, and, and this one, it, it's wide open as far as what the agenda is. So if a member wants to, to add something, I think that's open um, for, so like for, for that type of thing. So, um, okay. So, yeah, Mr. Diggins? Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm just hoping it will be the first of several, you know, so, so, so I'm, I'm not saying that we'll have like... What's wrong with you? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. So, yeah, I'm not saying that we'll have like four or five a year, but it's been a long time. I think when the first one we had was before the pandemic, and, and I'm trying to remember the topic too. It was a pretty hot topic. It, it, uh, it was Warren articles that they were getting some heat on, and they wanted us to join in with them, so yeah, uh -huh, we could share the yeah, heat, uh -huh, share the love. Uh -huh. But anyways. So, okay. Yeah, so I'm fine with waiting. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Diggins. So, yeah, so I, I will have further discussions with Ms. Embury on that, come back to you with dates. Um, so now on to item 15, which is under correspondence received. A, uh, this is regarding a roadway safety request and tax referral for no parking signage request on North Union Street uh, from uh, Mr. Lassie. Move receipt. Th th thank you, Mr. Mahan. Uh, Mr. Helmuth? Um, I, I second that I might make a friendly uh, a suge suggestion for a friendly amendment uh, for a referral to TAC. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Thank you, Mr. Helmuth. So we will uh, amend the vote that way. Any further comment? All right, so on a motion by Mrs. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Helmuth for receipt and referral to TAC. All in favor say aye. 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 It is a unanimous vote. Now, um, we do have an executive session scheduled, and, and it turns to before we close out, do you think we can do this in five or six minutes? Or Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay, all right. So before we do that, we'll do new business. Ms. Mahan? New business. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Attorney Cunningham? No new business. Mr. Feeney? No new business. Mr. Diggins? No new business. Mrs. Mahan. I've done all my business. Okay. Mr. Helen? No new business. Mr. Hurd? No new business. And I have no new business. Uh, Mrs. Mahan? I'd like to make a motion to go into executive session to discuss, discuss strategy with respect to litigation against ITRON, Inc. And when we come out of executive session, we adjourn and reconvene down at our annual town meeting. Thank you. Yeah, a little second. twist to that motion. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Mahan. Second. And it's seconded by Mr. Hurd. With this requires a roll call vote, so I'll turn it over to Attorney Cunningham. Mr. Diggins? Yes. Mrs. Mahan? Yes. Mr. Helmuth? Yes. Mr. Hurd? Yes. Mr. DeCourse? Yes. Five zero vote. Okay, we are in executive session. ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help.